under the current administration, people addicted to drugs are given the opportunity to treat their addiction uh, before going to jail uh, for, for crimes related to drugs, while alcoholics are not given the same opportunity. Uh, would either of you change that policy? Both alcoholism and drug abuse are diseases, and as district attorney, I would work hard uh, with the non-for-profit agencies that I've worked with uh, as, uh, as a private citizen and as an elected official to make sure that we go after these diseases. But if someone is then drunk or on drugs and gets behind the wheel of a car, that now, in my opinion, uh, becomes a deadly weapon. We do need to seek treatment for alcoholics as well as drug-addicted people. Um, I believe there are probably a lot more treatment programs on Staten Island that address alcoholism, and we need more for drug addictions. Um, but when you talk about a drug dealer who is selling drugs to minor or selling drugs within a certain amount of feet of school, now you're talking about innocent victims. They have to be dealt with just as harsh, harshly as the person who gets in their car. Would you make any changes in how the case was handled in terms of setting the bail? Again, that's not necessarily the DA, but do you, fa do you feel that such a small bail is appropriate? I imagine that the bail was set for this individual because he had very good ties to his community. He was entrenched with his family. He probably owns a house. Uh, he doesn't have a criminal record, and that's why bail was set. Um, but somebody, it seems to me, who commits murder has a great incentive to flee. Therefore, as the DA, I would be recommending remand. In that case, people felt, oh, the, the bail was too low, and rightfully so, uh, and, and I would have re uh, requested or recommended a remand as well. Um, but there's a whole segment of, of society, and certainly here on Staten Island, who fa feel that when it comes to the issue of bail, the criminal justice system is incredibly uh, unfair to them. And there's a feeling that the criminal justice uh, uh, system in general uh, is unfair to people of color. If his tax case was brought to you, to your, to your office, if you are elected DA, um, and it were a federal matter, how would you have handled it? There was a conspiracy to keep a total separate set of books uh, to defraud the government and to defraud the workers. And there was also, when he was asked about it under oath in a deposition, he lied about it while he was a congressman. So yes, I would have prosecuted that case, of course, you know, assuming that I wasn't involved in it personally, because those, that standard, first of all, should, everyone should be held to. You should not keep a separate set of books to defraud the government from taxes. I don't know that much about his investigation, so I can't speak specifically to it. Uh, the, but you asked whether or not if this was pending in Staten Island, would I prosecute it? No, we would have to ask for a special prosecutor because he was a congressman in this borough. So I think the first thing you have to do is ask for it to be removed from the people and his, the constituents that he served.